The school system in a large city had a program to help children keep up with their schoolwork during long stays in the hospital. One day, a teacher who was assigned to the program received a routine call asking her to visit a child named Lawrence. She took Lawrence's name and room number and briefly talked with his homeroom teacher. Lawrence's teacher told her they were studying nouns and verbs in his class, and she would appreciate it if she could help him understand them so Lawrence wouldn't fall too far behind. The hospital teacher went to see him that afternoon. No one mentioned, though, that Lawrence had been badly burned and wasn't expected to make it. But she quickly put aside her momentary shock at his condition and told him that she was there to teach him nouns and verbs because his teacher wanted him to be with the other students when he returned to school. When the hospital teacher left, she wasn't sure if she accomplished much because Lawrence winced with pain throughout the lesson. But the next day, a nurse asked her, what did you do to Lawrence? And as she began to apologize for not being very helpful the day before, the nurse interrupted her excitedly and said, we've been so worried about Lawrence and just knew he wasn't going to last much longer. But after you left, his whole attitude changed. He's fighting back. He's responding to the treatment. It's as though he's decided to live. Several days later, the hospital teacher asked Lawrence what caused his change. And he said that he had completely given up hope and just couldn't bear the pain. But he realized the school wouldn't have sent a teacher to work with him on nouns and verbs if he wasn't going to live. He knew that he would not have been given an assignment, not have been given a task to complete. He wouldn't have been trusted to learn something new if he wasn't going to live. Do you know that God wouldn't have sent his only begotten son, Jesus, if you weren't going to live? Do you know that Jesus wouldn't have made the ultimate sacrifice and given his life for you so that you would no longer be burdened by your past, but have life eternal if you weren't going to live? Live and live life abundantly. Reverend Mayle.